The festivities are in the air and the preparations for it had already started at Sunaina's house. Her uncle brought the decorative items and her mother started preparing for the food items. Dad started cleaning the house. Amidst all of this, Sunaina was walking around with a doll in her hand. She saw her cousin brother Mukul playing and asked, "Where is Aunty Mukul?" Sunaina didi, Ma is stitching in her room. As soon as she heard this, Sunaina ran to her aunty. "Aunty, aunty, will you help me?" "Yes, Sunaina, I will do it. What is the matter?" Festivals are approaching and everyone is bringing new clothes at home. I want my doll to wear new and colorful clothes too. I will need your help in this. I have stitched many clothes now. There is a lot of clipping left in them. We can make new clothes for your doll by the leftover clippings. Take this bag full of clippings. Pick whatever you like from it. Oh wow! There are many colorful clothes in it. Yes, Sunaina. It has different types of fabrics such as cotton, silk, and synthetic. You can make a frock or salwar kameez for your doll from any of them. All these clothes are so beautiful. Auntie, how are such beautiful clothes made? Sunaina, India is famous all over the world for making different kinds of clothes. The dress of each province of India is different and the clothes which are made there are also of different types cotton silk velvet woolen all kinds of cloth are made in small factories and workshops Sunaina if you look at the clothes carefully then you will know that every cloth is made up of weaving threads Oh yeah it looks like a thread mat Auntie, if the cloth is made up of thread, then where do these threads come from? To answer this question of Sunaina, her auntie removes thread from her sewing machine and scratches it into thin parts and shows it to Sunaina. Sunaina, these thin hair-like strands which are coming out of this thread are called fibers. Threads are made from these fibers. and then fabric is produced from them this is very interesting i will tell my friends about this but aunty i have never seen the fibers around all these produced a particular place sunaina the fibers which are used to make different types of clothes are found in different places we get fiber from plants and animals Examples of fibers that we get from plants are cotton and jute. Silk and wool are the examples of fibers obtained from animals. These types of fibers are known as natural fibers. Earlier, clothes made of natural fibers were used. But from few years, fibers are also being made using chemical materials. These are called synthetic fibers. Aunty, what type of cloth is made using such fibers? They produce fabrics such as nylon, polyester, and acrylic. Sunaina, so now look around yourself and find things that have clothes made using natural fibers. The saree you are wearing looks like a cotton cloth. So this is an example of garment made up of natural fibers and this table cloth it appears to be a fabric made up of synthetic fibers. Absolutely correct Sunaina. This table cloth is made of nylon. Auntie also made a beautiful frock for Sunaina's doll which made Sunaina very happy. Sunaina thanked her aunt and dressed the doll in her new clothes. Then Sunaina ran to her friends. 
समीना मोहन सुबीर लुक हाउ ब्यूटीफुल फ्रॉक माय आंटी मेड फॉर माय डॉल एंड सिटिंग विद माय आंट टुडे आई आल्सो लर्न अ लॉट अबाउट क्लोथ्स रियली टेल अस टू सुनैना आई केम टू नो दैट द क्लोथ्स वी वियर ऑल मेड अप ऑफ थ्रेड्स एंड थ्रेड्स आर मेड ऑफ इवन थिनर एलिमेंट्स कॉल्ड फाइबर्स What is fiber? Remember the day when we were playing catch up and you fell down your pants got torn from the knee at that time some thin threads come out of the torn area there are fibers fibers are of two types one is natural which we get from plants and animals and the second one is synthetic which is produced from chemical substances Yes I have also heard about this from my father. He works in a clothing factory. Oh wow! Why don't we ask him how the fabric is made from fibers? Good idea. Let's go. And then all the children ran towards Mohan's house to learn more about clothes. After discussing about clothes and fibers, all the children went to Mohan's house. Mohan's father works in a textile factory. All the children were very excited to meet him. On reaching Mohan's house, everyone met Mohan's mother. Hey, all the children together today? How are you all? We, We are, are good, Aunty. Are the preparations for the festival done? Yes, Aunty. I even got a new dress sewed for my doll by my aunt. Meanwhile Mohan's father came home from work. Everyone said hello to him. Hey kids. It was great seeing all of you together today. Father, we have all come to see you. We are keen to know about the production of clothes. Yes uncle, we want to know how the fabric is made. It is made in your factory, isn't it? Yes Sunaina. I am coming back from the factory right now. I feel good that you all want to know about the production of clothes. Well, first of all, do you know what cloth is made up of? Yes, uncle. My auntie told me that cloth is made up of fibers and we can get these fibers from plants and animals. Oh, wow, Sunaina. You are absolutely right. And these fibers are of different types. from which different fabrics are made yes uncle like cotton jute woolen synthetic etc you all know a lot cotton cloth is made where i work so i will tell you in detail about how cotton cloth is manufactured okay okay uncle cotton cloth is made from cotton It is cultivated in many parts of our country. Cotton is hand picked from cotton plants. It is then combed to remove its fibers. This process is known as cotton ginning. With the help of a large comb like device, the cotton swab is made. Earlier, people used to do this work by hand, but nowadays it is also done by machines. Then how do we make clothes from fiber? I'll tell you kids. Just wait a minute. I'll tell you everything. Mohan's mother was in the preparation to light earthen lamps to decorate the house. Mohan's father brings a cotton ball and gives it to the children. Children, this is the ball made of cotton. Come on, try to make wicks out of this for the lamps. Okay, okay uncle. uncle. The way you all are crushing the cotton between your hands to make it as a thread is known as spinning. Cotton yarns are made by spinning the cotton fibers. When we have to do a lot of spinning, we do this with the help of machines. A large needle-like device called a spindle 
converts cotton into yarn. The cloth is woven from the yarn. Wave, like my grandmother makes sweaters for me, like that. Absolutely right, Sabir. There are two types of weaving. Have you ever looked at a mat carefully? Yes, Uncle. The mat is made by joining the reeds. Samina is right. Just as you see a net of reeds in the mat, in the same way, clothes are made by weaving a net of threads. To make a net by weaving each piece of thread would take a lot of time to make fabrics. No, Subir. A device called a loom is used to do this type of weaving. This device is also operated by hand, and it can be operated by machines too. Really? So fabric is made quickly by this machine? Absolutely. Thanks, Uncle. I enjoyed learning all this about fibers and fabric. I did not know that the clothes we wear are made up of such small fibers. Children, not only this, our Bapu, that is Gandhi ji, had made the British rule very weak on the basis of fabric and khadi. How did he do it, Dad? Bapu himself boycotted English clothes and used his spinning wheel, which is used to make the fabric khadi. The Swadeshi wave was then swept across the country, and everyone boycotted English clothes. Wow, that's amazing. The British must have missed success. I really enjoyed listening to this story, Father. I will read about it in more detail. Come on, kids! You all had a long day today. Now let's have the scrumptious food that I have made for you all. Okay, okay Andy. Andy.